his cityscapes. This is very similar to what we have going on here right now. Look at how um, underneath all the all the small little details of the windows and people and doves and lampposts, these huge connected shapes that he has in his paintings. Um, it's coming right down here. These buildings come down and connect right into the cars and those cars connect right into the reflections and these buildings softly but yet still connect across to the other side of the street and into these cars and into the front of the car and into the reflection and into the people okay uh, and you see this over and over and over again um, in his paintings the way he's managed to sit now that backlighting technique really helps with that too. So he's got strong sunlight behind these buildings and that has a way of simplifying everything down into big basic shapes. But this is a little bit more of a flat lit um, type of a scene, a little bit sunnier than what we're working with today. Um, but you're seeing a lot more of the intricate you know, details on some of these buildings um, because of it. But it's also you know, connecting, 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 all the way over here, connecting and through that little shadow shape and under the bridge. Okay, the boats are connected to the reflections in the water. Um, this big shadow comes right over and connects into the, the shadow on those boats. So um, yeah, he has a whole lot of little individual things going on in here. You know, the obligatory figure walking right at us uh, with the, the orange face, but um, you know, the, all the little windows and the intricate bridge shapes and the pigeons flying around and lamps, lamp posts and all that small stuff that he can add after the fact to make it look, you know, busy and, uh, and a, as a city, you know, Venice. But um, underneath all those little details are those large, connected, simple shapes that read well from a distance, okay? If you looked at this thing really small from far away and even in black and white, you'd still know exactly what it was because of those big shapes. It's not because of the pigeons flying and the railing on the bridge and the, and the people's legs. It's because of those big shapes that you see from way far away, okay? So it's, that, it's so important to work, keep working on finding those bigger, bigger shapes. I think I've got one of Alvaro Castanier too, as well. Same thing. All the big connections. This black, this you know, almost monochromatic thing that he has here, the Brooklyn Bridge, is um, it's all it's two shapes. It's basically a value study. You know, it's all that light stuff, and almost everything else is connected through that big dark shape. Very descriptive shapes, you know, and you can break up the edges of it with the wires and the cables and the lampposts and and uh, mirrors and all that kind of stuff. But um, it's really reading as one big shape. Same thing on here, all the connections. That big backlit building again, just like Joseph coming right down, painting around those awnings, just like I just did for the crosswalk. Okay, it's the same thing, just negatively leaving those awnings behind. But that building shape comes down and starts to connect over the other side and connecting right into the cars and into the bicyclists and into these cars and their shadows. And, okay. Connect, connect, connect. That's the title for my book. 